All right, this video was called the integer playing card game. And if you're watching this video, you're, at, you're probably confused on how to play it, or you need a little reminder on how to play it. All you need is a basic set of playing cards. Here you go. All right. And the one thing you've got to remember is that reds are negative integers, and black are positive integers. Remember, feel free to pause it or rewind it if you want to catch up or if you are needing to take notes as we play along. All right, let's go ahead and play our first set in the integer playing card game. Here we go. That is a red 10 for negative 10. That is a black 10 for positive 10. What's the sum? If you said 0, you are correct. We're now at 0. If you said negative 7, you are correct. Negative 7. If you say positive 2, you are correct. Positive 2. If you said positive 5, you are correct. Finally, positive 5 plus positive 10 is positive 15. So that's our little introductory game for the integer playing card game. Why don't you go ahead right now and see if you can find the value of this set of cards. Here we go. All right, feel free to pause the video. If you want to take the time to answer this problem, go ahead and pause it right now, and I'll reveal the answer to you after you unpause the video. Okay, you've thought of the answer. We're going to work from left to right, from left to right. Here we go, negative 10, negative 7, positive 1, Negative 2, negative 3, negative 1. If you said your answer was negative 1, then you are correct. You're on your way to mastering integers. This is a great game for you to play at home. If you're a parent watching this video, this is a, a fantastic way to get involved with your kids on how to get better at mastering integers, which are whole numbers and their opposites, which are negatives. All right, until next time, take care.